Hello and welcome my wonderful arty crafty people. Thanks for clicking through to this video. We're going to colour this uh, drawing of magical mushrooms with pastels. The video showing the drawing process will be linked at the end so you might want to head over there first and come back. This drawing comes from my downloadables and my book. Um, it's all themed on fairies for October 2022 and um, if you join the channel you get access to any previous printables because you can have them as downloads as well and all the others that come up every month. Next month is Christmas. So you also get access to bonus videos. Here are some of them we have already done. Some are in watercolours and some are in acrylics. We did a lot of watercolour ones. They're quicker, so I can do more of those. And here were some of the acrylics that we did. Okay, so that's it so far for fairies. So today we're going to do the magical mushrooms and we're going to have a go at pastel pencils. If you don't have pastel pencils, you can get the soft pastel blocks. Um, there are also pan pastels that look like this. So I've got a few of those, which I sometimes use in the background. You also, I haven't got my tools up yet. You will also need some kind of way of um, applying it if you're not using pencils and you're using maybe the blocks or the pan pastels. I use this, these makeup brushes and they're absolutely perfect. You can buy a set of them um, online anywhere really. Um, the main ones, Amazon, eBay, um, are probably good for you. Um, and I think that is it. You can also have things like makeup sponges and, and um, these um, eye applicators, eye makeup applicators. They're absolutely fine as well. So let's get started. I do want to do a background. I wasn't going to, but I've changed my mind. And I think I'm going to go for a purple background. So I'm going to use a pan pastel for the purple background. It is quite dark though. So I'm going to try and mix in a bit of the white, if I can get that out. There we are, they're all piled up on, on top of each other. So um, so I've basically got my, my purple, it looks quite blue on the screen, but it is actually purple, and my white. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, one of my makeup brushes. And I'm just going to dab a little bit on and make sure there's a bit of white as well. And then I'm just going to come in and do my background just in blotches okay it doesn't matter if you go over your drawing because obviously that will get colored in later so just keep dabbing in this is what pan pastels are good for for doing a nice misty background um, they're great for that for smudging around and if you put on a bit that's a bit darker just get some more of the white and put that on top or just spread it around more um, yeah, so that's what these brushes are great for. Now, I am I normally use, if I'm doing my professional pastel painting, I would normally use pastel matte paper because you can put so many layers down on this. But just for doing these tutorials, I am using something called Frisk. I'll just get it for you. Frisk pastel papers, and they come in different sizes, A5, um, A4, I think. I'm not affiliated. I'm just saying that um, these are a, more of a friendly budget paper um especially for when you're learning like the way that went down it's a bit dark there okay so now you can see although the pan looked quite dark you can see how lovely and purple it is for the background there we go so we've done our nice mystical background i think we can say that's done okay good this is why I always have another piece of paper underneath just to, to smudge into and not to worry about too much. Now you can get gloves that when you're doing pastels, you don't put your hand down. Um, I just try to remember not to do it because you just end up spreading your hand all over it. I am gonna just pull my sleeves up a sec um, and it gets everywhere. Okay, so we're going to move on to the actual um, the actual mushrooms and I'm just picking out the colors that I think I'm going to use it's going to be reds isn't it I think so let's go with this red red now all I'm going to do is I'm just laying down the color 
I'm not worrying too much about the shade or anything because we will come in afterwards. Now, these papers aren't like pastel mat. I mean, pastel mat, you can keep layering and laying, layering forever, but that won't be possible with these pastel papers. But we will be able to get a couple of layers down, so it's all good. Right, there we go. Um, should we do the other one a different colour? We can do the more purpley pinky. I know there's purple in the background, but we can do like a darker purple on the mushroom. That's nice. That's a nice, rich, vibrant purple, isn't it? Okay. So we'll run with that one. So, um, yeah, if you're new to seeing my channel, thanks for popping by. And if you want to keep up with videos, don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. Um, just subscribing alone won't mean you'll hear from us, hear from me when I put new videos out. Um, you will have to actually click that bell. Um, yeah, YouTube don't send you notifications just for subscribing anymore. So I'm just putting some pink in there as well, just to give it a bit of depth. I don't know, I just felt like doing it. I'm going to put some of the pinky up here as well. Now, don't forget, this is just laying down colour at the moment and we're just pushing some colour around. Not worrying too much. This is our first layer. We'll probably only do a couple of layers for this um, because it, it won't need that, that much more. I'm going to push it round now. I am going to use the makeup set and so I'm coming in and I'm just going to push it round. But as you can see, it, it changes completely once you've laid the pastel down and then you want to come in, you just push it and blend it round. This is why it's quite nice to put um, different colours down so that you get variations in the shade as you push it round. There we go. Okay. And obviously, like, I'm trying to keep my hands out the way. As I said, it can be quite smudgy, so... Keep your hands out the way as best you can. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to try and rub off some of that pink. You can't see me, but I'm just rubbing the brush off on my paper over here just to get most of that pink off because then I can come in and just start smudging the purple round. But you do need to make sure any excess loose pastel you have taken off. So as you can see, um, it's smudging around beautifully. And then we can go in and put some more colour down. Now I would say, yeah, just keep putting it down until you're happy with it. I might even come in with some of that purple just in different places here. I mean, at the end of the day, these activities are supposed to be like fun activities, something you might do in your sketchbook, something you might um, use as a springboard to do something else from. So just have fun with it um, just do whatever you feel like doing whatever wherever the mood takes you when I record these videos I always do them just there and then I don't plan these so what you're seeing is me and my thought process I just think that's a nice way a lot of tutorials are very well prepared and all set up and all perfectly done but that, that's not really real art in terms of of how an artist would go there's so many different steps and stages and you know you might have a go at something and think oh I don't like that anymore and you'll try and do something else so I'm coming back in with some more of this red make it redder if that means anything a bit more vibrant it's gone kind of into the background a bit so I'm just going to keep adding it until to be honest I'm happy with it and that's the way you work with pastels just keep working in layers until you're there and then at the end we can come in with some detail by just using the points and uh, drawing in any detail that we want okay so smudge that all in again so you do start to see that the color becomes a bit more vibrant the more you add we keep smudging it round, smudge, smudge. 
I will try and put, well I will, I'll put chapters in so that you can skip some of the bits where I'm just smudging it in if you want to um, and move on to, because um, although this is full length and it's nice to see the full length sometimes, I understand that you don't want to just sit there watching me colour in, although you may, you may want to. I have started watching some colouring in pages that helps to relax me if I'm too tired to do it myself. And there's music on, and I really enjoy it. There's some lovely pages out there that are just colouring in. Right, so now I'm coming in on top of everything just to give it... Um, yeah, try not to um, scoop away any residue because you will smudge it across your work. So always just a little light blow will get it out of the way for you. And actually, that's taken like about three lots of pastel so I'm quite impressed quite impressed okay now what I want to do is try and come in underneath with more of a ready brown so that's here like we need to get a bit darker here because this is where the mushrooms are kind of curving round so they'll be a bit darker in there. And if you've seen the previous one I did, I think it was, I think it was watercolour. It may have been acrylic. No, I don't want that one. I want the brownie one. And I think this will be the last layer it will take now, which is fine. So I'm just adding some of that in. I think I actually want to come in with dark colour underneath, just to smudge in and show where the underneath is like that but I'm going to put some of the red in as well because then it will still have some cohesion to the whole mushroom there we go and then you'll see as I mix in Luckily, there's still some red on there anyway, but it darkens that bottom bit. But there's also like a little red tint to it, which is lovely. Now, you can see why this paper isn't like pastel matte now. If I had pastel matte, that would have just smoothed out. But you can start to see there. You can see as I'm filling in that there are, you can kind of see the marks on the paper. Um, but it's it's just great for scrapbook um scrapbook drawings or just having a practice and having a play so um right i'm going to put some more purple on oh nearly dropped my pencil and just adding it more and more until i'm happy so here again i'm coming round underneath where the mushroom will be underneath and just drawing that a bit darker now traditionally those blobs are sort of a grey black aren't they on the mushrooms so I'm going to come in with a light grey first there we go pop that in and then I'm going to come on with a slightly darker grey until we get round the edges and then we'll give it a sense of 3D okay so then we get the slightly darker grey and we want to be blending that in kind of here like that show that it's a bit darker there and here we want to go all the way round to the edges and here they so just go around doing that and that will give some depth because you're showing that where that is catching the light on the top but then the shade is round the edges because that's uh, going backwards and the light won't be hitting it so much. Come around like that. Okay, and then we can come in with the black. Now what I do want to do actually is just blend that in a little bit. I can't find, where have I put my blender? It disappeared. <laughs> We'll use this then. So I'm just coming in to do the little spots. So I just want to blend them a little bit. 
as I say, this paper does have um, of its own kind of, uh, what's the word, texture. So I'm just going to come in now around the bottoms, around the edges, and this will just encourage it to come alive a bit more. Okay, hopefully you can see that. And then that just gives those a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to come around again and put a bit more dark down here. And I might just draw some of those lines in to draw like the mushrooms coming into that shape. Again, that just gives it a bit more 3D. I'm also going to come in with a bit more red. I just think it could do with a little bit more, particularly at the bottom of those bumps where there will be a bit of shadow. Can you see that? And it kind of already makes the mushroom look a bit more 3D because we've got the shadow created by the bump around it. I'm always, whenever I'm doing anything, I'm thinking about value, or I'm thinking about light to dark and things like that so with uh and also where the light might be coming from so where the shade will be i'm always imagining in my head what it would look like in real life like where the darks and lights would be okay so we have done that so i'm going to actually just do that now on this one um and just come in with a little bit more purple it's quite faded. Okay, so we'll come in with the grey first. There we go. I'll smudge it round a bit. Again, just one of these eye makeup applicators are perfect. You can get the official soft SOFFT applicators, but um, they are very expensive and they do wear down. So um, I'm not saying I wouldn't recommend them, but um, if you've got the money, it's fine. If you haven't, you, we, we make do, don't we, with what works. So I like to use those makeup applicators because they wear, they do seem to wear quite well, but they also do the job. And they're not very expensive <laughs> so it's a great help i'm just going to do this one a bit darker because it is underneath there we go uh i haven't done the underneath of that one have i so let's just do that one black i think get that colored in and then we'll smudge it around Good. Now the reason why I love um, pastel pencils is because you just do have that little bit of accuracy, which is always helpful. Let's see if I can find. There's another applicator there. I don't know. Oh, there. Oh no, that's not it. I don't know what I've done with it. I, don't, I have no idea where it went. Maybe this is the one, and I put it back again. No, there's two holes there. Okay, so we're just gonna smudge that in. Just so that it's darker now with pastels you can also go over pastels with coloring pencils once you've laid like a nice background down because you can't get that effect with colored pencils so easily um, you can then come in with the past uh, colored pencils afterwards so again i'm just coming in to give the impression of this coming in that way right we're going to go now for the bottom of the mushrooms so i'm just going to get out some browns and like i say I, I don't plan these i just make them up as i go along so i'm going to start with quite a dark brown at the top because shadow will be there and then what we'll do is we'll blend it down 
we do have to put in there that black because that's where the darkness is so we are going to go quite firm there and make sure that it's very black okay because that is the back of the mushroom and it will be really really dark so i'm just coming down creating a bit of shadow and it'll be much lighter here because that's where the light will be able to catch the round part of the mushroom and the top won't be covering it so much so i just come in with different browns and work my way to the lighted area the lighter area uh, you can go over the grass a bit it's fine and then when you get to the lighter area you can come in with like a really light color and it really does give the impression of light and then i'm kind of just smudging it in with this pencil bit to be honest just to get so it do, it looks as though it's cohesive and it, the light color just doesn't appear from nowhere you need to kind of get it in all the other areas as well yep and just put some more of that down put some of that at the top now i'm going to blend it all in so nice and then i can come in again with my dark brown and just if i want to i can where i've got those pencil lines i can just draw them in with the darker pencil and just keep playing around with it until you get it how you want should be a quite a nice quick activity this one as well if you if you haven't got much time but you just feel like doing something it should be quite a nice quick activity i'm just going to put a little bit in there just to make it cohesive i think that's fine let's go for the grass now so the grass needs some green i've got quite a few greens i think that one's more more of a sap green it's quite dark on screen but it, it's okay we'll use those ones and i just need i can recommend that you get this is a Derwent pastel sharpener. Now, if you try to use normal sharpeners on pastel pencils, they will break. So try not to do that because they are expensive and um, you don't want to waste it. So if you can get it, it's, it's very inexpensive and it saves you your pastel pencil. So oh, my hair's doing <laughs> right. OK, so let's just go in and mark in some of these grasses. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour in inside the uh, grass that I've marked. Sorry about that banging noise. I think that's my neighbour. He's chopping up wood for the fire. It's getting a bit chilly this now. We're in coming up towards the end of October. So it's real fire time. And it's also cheaper. And with all the... You may be watching this in the future, but um, 2022 is the year of the ukraine war and the year the fuel crisis hit and we're all suffering a bit at the minute with the cost of living so um yeah <laughs> they're out there chopping up their wood free heating i suppose isn't it i don't have a fireplace sadly i'm in a modern house with just the radiators right we're all just having to be a bit more careful with money than we would normally be. Right, I've got some of this really nice lime green. I'm just going to put it at the top and maybe add a few bits in just to give some light. You can't, probably can't see that on there much. There, I'm just trying to bring it out for you. And I just, it, it shows that that's where the lighter bits are because that's where the sun is and what we can even do. Shall we, shall we do it? Shall we put some flowers down there? So just some little marks like that perfect just some little squiggles and that represents having some little flowers down there so this is the thing this is what i want you to do be able to do with these drawings is for it to like be a springboard for you so that you can go off and um do your own thing with it really and make it your own you've got the designs if you join the channel um it's a small fee per month and every month you get the designs that you can print and obviously once you've got it you can print it off as many times as you like and um you will obviously get all the videos on youtube that go with them but i also for those of you that do subscribe to get the downloadables i also do bonus videos 
and they're of all abilities i think this was a two two star ability it goes from one to four and um yeah so if you're feeling like a challenge great but if you're not and you just fancy something easy then you pick the easier ones so it's up to you really whatever you want to do so here's our little fairy she's the main part of the show here but she's kind of hidden hidden in the darkness we just want to give her a feel of shadow because the focus of this drawing is our mushrooms so we're just gonna kind of fill her in gently i am gonna do the top of her wand in yellow because i just think it would look nice and then i'm going to come around and then really mark in her outline a bit more now as i've said there are you can kind of see the texture of the paper on these um but as i say for practicing and for me teaching you on they are perfect because pastel mat although it is excellent um it's very expensive and i tend to save that for best pieces okay so i'm just going to smudge that in i kind of like that there was a bit of color on that that brush so it's kind of just it smudged her in but she's not completely just black so that's nice she's just smudged into the background okay now i'm thinking it's done but i'm wondering if we can come in mm, in the background and just maybe i just want a different color i think should we try blue i don't want that green but i think i've got quite mm, might be a bit bright it's that color down there yellow don't think i want that in there let's just pop a bit of blue in quite nice just to give some darker areas like that yeah like that see this is all i want you to do is just play um and i like to show you that, that that's you know it doesn't all have to be planned out there is no right or wrong just do it how you want but i do kind of like how it's lighter around the mushrooms and then goes into the background and there's different um different patterns see i'm always thinking if i ever go um and then i don't say anything <laughs> because i'm thinking but i know i need to talk to you guys as well now i'm just coming in with a brush that is um going to try and get rid of some of those marks um some of the texture of the paper yeah we don't want too much and that's what this brush these brushes are good for kind of take away the texture of the paper and push it in further and push it round it does lift some of it up so you need to be careful it's not actually taking the pastel away see so, you know, just blew quite a bit away there so be careful of that as well but we we do want to make it look like it's nice and smooth we don't you know we don't want it to be having too much of that texture of the paper so got to do it there I think it's better already mix in that bit there and that bit there keep dabbing your brush out this is why I always have this paper here. Always looks better. Now I'm going to just come in with a smaller brush like that. With the purple and kind of drag it out to under here. Just a little bit. Don't want it to be too strong. There. Whoop! <laughs> Nearly blew away. Right. Doing good. As I say, you can keep going in until you're happy with it and until the paper says, no, nope, no more, I'm not taking any more. Um, because the teeth of the paper will let you know when it's time to be done. So as long as you've got most done by that time, it's fine. And then you can just keep going and adding if, if it will take it. So now I'm just going in and going over those lines again. 
the final thing really is just to make sure if you've got anything that you want lined sort of outlined a bit better like any shadows or any highlights you want to go back and do those <clears throat> I could sit and do this for hours but I won't keep you much longer because you can go off and do whatever you want to do I'm going to come in with a bit more grey on this one because to be honest it looks too purple I can't really see spots that's it that's looking better and this one here that's better quite dark but it's because it's on the underside a bit off better and so we can come in again I might actually come in with some white because at the very end of any painting you can lighten an area then great adding those highlights it just makes it look more 3d that's lighten that up a little bit and then again I'll just come in with a bit on here I'm sure you can see it to be honest that's fine I say we're done I'm playing now <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that everyone and um look forward to seeing you on the next one please subscribe or join the membership for all of the downloads and all of the videos and hope to see you in the next one thank you bye